Hi, this is Mr. G. And in this short video, I want to address a little topic that you're going to find in almost any music theory curriculum in a college, high school, uh, academic institution that, you, that you'll come across. And it's the uh, concept of simple meter or compound meter. Having said that, I should say before getting to that, you need to know that I've been a professional musician for 40 years, close to 50 years, and outside of academic institutions, I've never heard meter being referred to with these names, compound, simple, simple duple, compound triple, simple quadruple, compound quadruple. We just refer to them as 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 6, 8, 9, 8, 12, 8, what have you. But seeing as how this is part of almost every curriculum, let's see if I can give you something fairly simple to get you through this part of the course to help you understand what it is they're asking for when they ask for you to identify simple or compound meter. All right, let's get to it. Let me just give you a quick hook so that you can quickly figure out whether a time signature you're looking at is simple or compound. It's quite simple. Simple meter is if the top number of the time signature is 2, 3, or 4. That sounds simple enough? And if it's compound, the top numbers will be 6, 9, or 12. Sound good? Now if you'll notice the correlation between these two is that if you multiply the top number of the simple meter by the number 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12. So if the bottom, if the top number is 2, 3, or 4, simple meter. If the top number is 6, 9, or 12, compound meter. All right, now here's another way of looking at simple meter and compound meter. What you see in front of you is uh, examples of simple meter and compound meter. Simple meter being 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4. Compound meter 6, 8, 9, 8, 12, 8. In simple meter, you notice how the eighth notes are in groups of two. One and two and even in three, four. One and two and three and they're six eighth notes, but they're grouped in two. So what's the difference between 3, 4, and 6, 8? Well, in 6, 8, compound meter, the eighth notes are in groups of three. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like a waltz. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 9, 8, 12, 8, the same thing. The eighth notes are in groups of three. So compound meter, groups of three. Simple meter, groups of two. 1 and 2 and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and so I'm just gonna play it and let you hear it now know that uh, this is a major seven so it might be a little jarring I could change it I suppose but I want you to hear the separate notes all right here we go groups of two groups of three coming up So once again, simple meter, eighth notes are grouped in two, compound meter, eighth notes are grouped in three. So if you see a piece of music where you see groups of three eighth notes tied together, think compound. If you see a piece of music where it's eighth notes are connected by in pairs, think simple meter. This should answer most of the questions you would get on this kind of stuff in your music theory courses at high school and college. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to call me, or not call me, no, you can't call me, but you can email me at page at emergingcomposer.com. You can visit my website, emergingcomposer.com, and post there. All right, this is Mr. G. I'm out of here. Have a great night. Bye. <laughs>